ghost dance, or known in the Native American language of Caddo as Nanasana, is a dance ritual that has been incorporated into many Native American belief systems. The ghost dance is a relatively new ritual and has two iterations. The first iteration originated from Nevada in 1869 by the Native American tribe called the Nevada Northern Paiute. Hawthorne Wadzuob, a healer from the tribe, began this ritual due to a vision of his. In this vision, he saw dead spirits making their journey to the land of the dead. Following this vision, he held a customary circle dance to announce this vision and quickly formed a new celebration called the Ghost Dance. Like many other rituals, the ghost dance linked to an absent other. The first iteration of the dance was used to connect and celebrate to those making their journey to the land of the dead. Furthermore, with the help of a weather doctor named Tavibo, the two continued to preach and spread the ghost dance. As the ghost dance spread, it even developed a new religious movement coined Dance in a Circle. Many participants of the ghost dances were said to have fallen into trances and received new songs from the dead they met in the visions. Some even said they were healed by the ghost dance rituals. As mentioned earlier, the ghost dance was first done as a customary circle dance, also known as the round circle dance. Therefore, much of the ghost dance ritual takes inspiration from the round circle dance. In the ghost dance, participants, who were mostly men, would wear traditional tribe garments, such as war bonnets, while performing the ghost dance. These participants would form a medium-sized circle, sometimes with smaller circles on the inside. Participants would then move in one direction around the circles. There would be at least one drummer who would hold a consistent beat while the others would sing traditional songs. Participants would also stomp their feet in sync with the drummer. The most important figure for the ghost dance was the ritual dance leader. They would often decide the direction that the dancers would move in, how many circles there were, and oftentimes the beat of the drummers. The second iteration of the ghost dance takes a slightly different meaning from the first ghost dance. The second ghost dance was started by Wovoka, aka Jack Wilson. Wovoka was the son of Tavibo, the weather doctor who helped Hawthorne spread the first ghost dance. Wovoka was a prophet who saw many visions that led him to establish the second ghost dance in 1889. During a solar eclipse on January 1st, 1889, Ravoka had a vision that seemed to mix Native American religions and European Christianity. Of this vision, Ravoka himself said, When the sun died, I went up to heaven and saw God, and all the people who had died a long time ago. God told me to come back and tell my people they must be good and love one another, and not fight or steal or lie. He gave me this dance to give to my people. He preached that if the five-day dance was performed in the proper intervals, the performers would secure their happiness and hasten the reunion of the living and deceased. Wovoka also claimed that if every Native American in the West danced the new dance to hasten the event, all evil in the world would be swept away, leaving a renewed earth filled with food, love, and faith. The second ghost dance, however, received mixed reactions from different Native American tribes. For example, the Navajo people didn't believe in the movement and even said it was just worthless words. However, some Native Americans, like the Lakota, quickly became believers in the ghost dance ritual. It became a dance of hope for many tribes. Many believed it would rid them of all their problems and reunite them with their deceased tribe members. The second ghost dance was a form of protest against European colonization, a promise of health against European diseases, and a promise of peace and prosperity. 